Hi everybody, it's Sunday and that means it's time for the makeup debrief and the new items for the week. This week was pretty, fairly successful. Um, as you can see, I've taken my hair up another notch and I am filming a little earlier in the day than I like to, um, but I did go and get my hair highlighted um, as I'm gradually going back to blonde and I'm very, very happy with the results. This was a new salon and it's a salon by one of the, or excuse me, by the weight loss clinic that I'm going to now, which I may or may not talk about. Um, that's up to you. I know some people are kind of like, ugh, you know, dieting, whatever. So I am attending a new um, weight loss clinic and it's in a city that's about 40 minutes away from where I live and happened to be early for my appointment one week because you have to go in every week um, and I was kind of walking around and I walked past the salon and um, decided to take a chance on it after talking to the owner who's there obviously and she did a great job um, and there's a couple of unique things about the salon. The salon is called Two Hot Blondes and it's in Thornhill but borderlines on Vaughan which are towns that are in the North York area of Toronto. Please correct me if I'm wrong, people that live in this area, um, I'm still learning. And um, obviously they specialize in blonde hair, but they also use a specific type of um, shampoo and conditioner. They actually use shampoo and conditioner that was designed for horses. Yeah, so I'm gonna give you a second to digest that because that's kind of what I, I was like, ugh, I don't know. But um, I've been doing a little reading and this is the brand. Um, so yeah, you can you can bathe your animals with this. Um, I may even try it with my dog, but apparently it also works really well on human hair. Um, it was used on me. I'm pretty happy with the results. I will be doing a review on these and I will let you know. Um, still sticking to my Mitch Stone styling products. Uh, these are the hair shampoo and conditioner. I know Mitch Stone is coming out with a shampoo and conditioner. I don't know when it's going to be here. Um, gosh, I hope soon because that's some good styling products. I'm hoping also to get some more Mitch Stone styling products and do uh, a giveaway as well because I really, really, really like them. So let's get to the debrief and then we'll get to the new items. Enough about me. So this product, um, the Flower in Your Prime Perfecting Primer, this is good. However, um, it didn't play too nicely and I do, of course I don't have my tinted moisturizer didn't play very nicely with my face Stockholm tin and moisturizer so I ended up skipping it all together and just using my tinted moisturizer as kind of my base um, which I'll just launch into that yet yeah, my tinted moisturizer is sitting over there it was a face Stockholm tin and moisturizer and it truly is a tinted moisturizer do not expect any more coverage um, than a tinted moisturizer would give you because that's what you're getting. Now, for me, my skin has improved greatly, I'll say. Um, I take a special type of vitamin called glycidin skin nutrients that I love and I will not be without those. I will keep taking them as long as I possibly can because they've made such a huge difference in my skin along with my improved uh, diet and drinking a lot more water. So I'm able to kind of pull off a, just a tinted moisturizer. There were a couple days that um, I did opt for foundation and I just used my Celebration Foundation, which I just love from IT Cosmetics. But uh, this was okay. It didn't work very well. I think this is going to be one of those products that's just particular and you just have to kind of find that right sweet spot and see what it will work with and what it won't work with. It will not work with the uh, Face Stock Home Tinted Moisturizer, which was a great product. For concealer, the Rimmel Wake Me Up. I, I just love this concealer. Then I used the, ah, this was, this I'm kind of half half about. This was the Chanel Candy Blush. Believe it or not, um, here, you know, this is it. And it looks pretty pigmented. It really didn't show up on my skin. Um, and I'm, I'm a little heavy handed with blush, so I really am careful now. Um, and I know that about myself. I'm careful about using it. And even when I really was kind of blending it and buffing it and brushing it and swirling it on, I really just didn't notice it. So, but even when, but when I asked my coworkers, hey, does it, does it look like I have 
blush on? They said, yeah, but it's subtle compared to how I usually wear it. So it's good. If you like subtle blush, then great. Now I'm just thinking, why did I have that Rimmel in here? Because I used the Face Stockholm Neutralizer Blue, which is actually great. Um, this is a great concealer. The only thing I would warn about is that it's, it's, it's cream, but it's thick. And I'm starting to, this is what it looks like. I'm starting to get used to the concealers that are like, like the Rimmel, that are a little bit easier to work with and kind of spread than, than uh, this one. So, and it looks very different. So let me just show you here. Whoop. So here is the Face Stockholm and then the Rimmel next to it. But both very great options. So the Neutralizer Blue does work really well on the dark circles. I really appreciate that. The Impeccable Brow Pencil from MAC. I'm loving these. Uh, Glamour by Azita told me they were discontinued, and I'm very disappointed in that because I really do like this pencil quite a bit. The eye primer. Put a lid on it by the balm. You know, this reminds me, if you like Too Faced Shadow Insurance, um, you will love this product. It actually looks almost like my Urban Decay Primer Potion, but I find that it's it has the it it just gets very smooth and you can't really see it. it's greasy almost. See that kind of shimmer, um, and that reminds me of the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And I think people who like that will like the put a lid on it. I was not a fan. Um, yeah, I was not a fan of that. And I actually also wasn't really a fan of the What's Your Type Black Mascara from The Balm. So I got Tall, Dark, and Handsome. It's a lengthening mascara. It's got the um, hard plastic bristles. It was okay, but, you know, I'm not going to say it was spectacular. It did a, did a decent job at lengthening, but I found that I, when I tried to work with it and build it, um, I couldn't really do that, and that... Mm, that's not good. That's not good. The NARS Paris Follies Gloss. Awesome. This is like my new summer gloss. A beautiful, I call it watermelon. It's it's delightful. So then the Lancome Aquatic Essentials. Love this. Absolutely love this palette. It's fantastic. Um, as you can see, I've dipped into every single color. Stuck mostly here for work but occasionally went went this way and I love this peach color too insanely pigmented um, just make sure that you have a great primer on um, because when I used it with the put a lid on it it didn't work out too well face Stockholm bronzer it's a great overall bronzer it actually wasn't incredibly dark for me I was so scared that this was going to just make me look Jersey Shore and I just, I just am so against that. So it didn't. But um, I'm not also not a fan of the one color bronzers. It's just, ugh. I'll use them. And they do work. And this is a great product. I got this in my Wantable box. But it's just not my favorite. Maybe that will change though. And then finally, the uh, Besame Violet Brightening Powder. Ugh. If you notice some of my products were kind of like dusty, it's because I, being the genius I am, took the top off of this little sifter top and the thing, it just went everywhere. So I do like this powder. It does have a scent. It is like a violet scent. It doesn't stick around, but it does a great job with the brightening. I love these like lilac toned powders. I think this is brilliant. Packaging is absolutely beautiful. I will continue to use this. I'll just be a little more careful next time. So now let's get to the new products. So I'm going back. I'm going to finish up my Shoot Amara UV Under Base Mousse. I should be almost done with this. It's, there's barely any left in the can. I can hear it. I'm not going to repurchase until I use up the rest of my primers, but I find this to be a great primer to use in the summer because it is a foam. It is lightweight. Uh, it gives you your sunscreen, and it does a great job um, helping your foundation, BB cream, tinted moisturizer adhere better to your skin. Also, it's tinted, so it gives you a little bit of coverage evening out. I'm going for my Super BB Triple Function Whitening Skin 79 Cream. So this is a traditional... Well, it is. It's not a traditional. It's a Korean BB cream. 
So most of the Asian type BB creams, when they come out, they have kind of a gray cast to them, and this one is, is no different. But um, the color does adjust to your skin tone quite well, actually. Um, and I find that the Korean BB creams give you more coverage, which I adore because I need it. For highlighter, I'm going to my IT Cosmetics Hello Light Cream Illuminator. This is a favorite of mine. Um, I love highlighting. I love illuminating, especially now in the summer. Um, and the cream option for me, since I'm getting older, is dead on. For mascara, on non-rainy days, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. This is another favorite of many, many people, and I am no different. This just has the traditional brush but L'Oreal definitely got the formula right with this. This is a wonderful, wonderful mascara. I'll always like it. Uh, Soleil Tandy de Chanel. This is a big, big, big Chanel bronzer. And again, it's one color, but for some reason, I can apply this and it just looks amazing. I use a MAC 187 Duo Fiber brush, which... Um, Duo Fiber, I know it was real popular and, and still maybe, but it's not my favorite type of brush. I find they tend to shed a lot, and I don't like that. But this one, it works well. For powder, I'm going to use the Sun Protect Skin 79 um, BB Compact. So this also has the SPF in it as well, and that's another thing I love about Korean BB creams is they're always really good about putting the sunscreen in there and the factor that's probably why most Asian women have beautiful skin. Glamorous eyebrow pencil. I got this in I think my, one of my last Glim boxes so I might as well use it up, right? Dior uh, Lip Glow. Just trying to use this up. This is the, the pink version and I don't have very much left. Um, I have the peach version and I'll be using that up next. Too Faced uh, Sweethearts Perfect Blush Blush and Candy Glow. Love this blush. It's beautiful and the packaging is to die for. So Glamour by Azita had mentioned that Mademoiselle by Chanel lipstick would look good on me. I already have it. Um, unfortunately, and I'm wearing it today, it's, that's not unfortunate, but the unfortunate part is apparently Chanel lipsticks um, have a tendency to break as you can see. Um, and I'm pretty careful with my lipstick, so I'm not sure what happened to this one. I am still able to use it. I will be using it. It is a fantastic color. So thanks for mentioning it, uh, Zita, and I already have it. Then for gloss, I'm going to use the Magma Fusion by uh, Terry Mugley. Oh my gosh, I can't even get this off. What the heck? Oh my gosh happened here well I'm not going to use it if I can't get this off geez so it looks like this it actually comes out kind of see the tip is like a golden and then it adjusts to that pink color it's beautiful he came out with I think there's either four or six of these and they're wonderful I actually may for my subscriber of the month maybe giving away one of these because I know there's not a lot of places for people to buy the makeup and I have access to it so why not then I'm going to be using Meat Matte Nude, which I'm very excited about from the Balm. These colors look amazing, and I cannot wait to work with them. I've also got my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is in vanilla. I know people um, are talking, 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 talking about this. Then my um, Chanel Eye Brightener in Barrel, another favorite of mine. Then Kelly McKelly. Talking about the Olay uh, concealer, the eye concealer, the eye brightener, the one that used to come in the little pot. So this is what they look like now. They come in a little pump. Um, and I'm really excited about these, actually. I think this is it anyway. Brightening Concealer and Olay Hydrating Serum. So I'm going to be using this and trying this out. Um, and it's mainly because Kelly McKelly raves about it, and I value her opinion. Then I'm giving myself another option with MAC's Hot Gossip Lipstick. So if you remember uh, last week, I think, I believe I said that um, Hot Gossip and Craving are my two favorites, and that is the truth. And I think that's it, which is perfect because I don't like to have videos longer than 15 minutes. So I'm going to speed this up and say that I hope you had a great week. And I hope you enjoy your weekend and thanks so much for watching. Bye.